better? Rashnik, it's R-A-S-H-N-I-Q-U-E. Uh, my last name is Edmund, E-D-M-O-N-D, -E and I am a staff sergeant. I'm a radio retrans supervisor. Okay, perfect. I'm feeling motivated, I'm pumped. I'm glad to lead from the front. I have a lot of uh, motivated Signal soldiers that are with me too, um, and we're just ready to, to lead and show what Signal's all about. It's, it's, it's really important. It's imperative that leaders um, show that motivation, especially for their soldiers. Um, I was asked during the board, how do you get that motivation for your troops? And it's by leading from the front. And I think by doing so, my soldiers felt that and they were able to finish strong. The Weaver, for sure. Um, the Weaver was uh, definitely a challenging one. I haven't done it for so long. I went to aerosol school when I was a young troop. Um, but my soldier, Specialist Martinez, was able to finish it. He did a great job. Um, I'm super proud for them. Uh, this is the first time that they're able to do a competition at this level. And I've done so many throughout my career and it's great that they're able to get this spotlight. Well, honestly, this is what soldiering is all about. And for them to have this opportunity to do this uh, is great. And it shows them what it takes to put the work in and how that result of uh, finishing, even if you don't win, how finishing can also be a, like, that strong driving force. Well, um, I'm big on the law of addition uh, from 21 Irrefutable Laws, so I was able to add value to my troops and they're able to carry that on to their troops. So by, by them doing this, I know that their soldiers are going to be able to do the same. So as a leader, it's great to see that. Um, Hotown is New Jersey, Lumberton, New Jersey, uh, born and raised. Uh, we're the backbone of the Army. So by being that leader, as you see me uh, motivating them, cheering them on, I'm, I'm that backbone. Even if they fall down, I'm there to support them and bring them back up. So to be part of that, to be part of that core, it means, it means a lot to me. First name is Justin Camp. It's J-U-S-T-I-N-C-A-M-P, Staff Sergeant Camp, and then 16BB. All right, so NCOIC for the obstacle course. Okay. Yes, today the soldiers are going through the obstacle course for the best squad competition. All right, so they compete as a team. They need to be mentally tough. Like, it's not a simple, like, hey, I'm just gonna hop this fence. They need to be smart. You gotta think, you gotta work together as a team. There's a lot of team bonding here. So they gotta be physically and mentally tough. The weaver and then the ladder with the, uh, the chains. Because the weaver slows everybody down. Like, no matter how good you are, it takes about four minutes to complete, like someone really fast, and then, the last one's this chain one over here to my right. It's uh, pretty difficult. People start climbing over top and they get to the top and they start getting hesitant because um, it's pretty high. And then they come back down and they're fine. So. <laughs> it's good because it shows character for your, your soldiers, right? You help build those fears because there are times you'll be scared. Like the top, you, like, you get a little nervous sometimes. So they're working through their fears and it's good. It's a good thing in the whole. So. It's very humbling. You get to be out here to help these guys out and do something for them because they're showing for the post what the post has to offer. So it's very humbling. Cool. All right, so as NCOs, giving purpose, motivation, and direction is very important because a lot of these guys, if they get scared or hung up, they need someone to be there for them, pushing them through. So, I mean, it is important. As the NCO I see for the overall range, I find it very humbling again to be here helping out and supporting you guys. My name is Jason Martinez, J-A-S-O-N-M-A-R-T-I-N-N-Z. -N I am a signal support system specialist of 25 uniform. Oh Let's go. Hey, you got we competed and we worked as a team to make sure we went through the obstacle course as fast and as proficient as possible. 
most difficult part of going through this obstacle is just remaining calm, keeping your composure, and making sure every step of the way you do everything correctly as a team and make sure you can finish. I joined this competition to represent DSSB and show that we also have fire in our troops and compete and come out here and show what we're made of. Oh, well, Sergeant Edmonds has tons of experience as a leader. She's a great mentor. Her leadership skills, there's no question in them. She has proven herself time and time again. If you see us during the obstacle course, I was there to support her soldiers and just put fire in, on, in, in us to make sure no matter what we do, we do it correctly, make sure we finish strong, and it's a great leader all overall. I just have to show the standard. So me as, as someone who's gonna be a future NCO, I gotta make sure uh, that when it's time to work, it's time to work, and when it's time to play, it's time to play, and make sure that there's an equal balance.